Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating cool text animation step by step here in After Effects without using any third party plugins. This text animation is designed to elevate the quality of your videos to the highest level, so make sure to stay with this tutorial until the very end. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. So let's get started with the creation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first like always let's create a new composition, this is gonna be Final Comp, hit on this little icon or Ctrl or Command plus N, let's rename this one to Final, Width and Height 90, 20 by 10, 80, ok, and Duration, let's go to around 10 seconds, but of course you can type here your own numbers. Hit ok and now let's create Background, go right click, find here new Solid Layer and this is gonna be Background. Hit OK. Go here in the Facts and Preset as our next step and let's find here Ramp Effect and if you can't find the Facts and Preset just go Window and you will find the Facts and Presets here. Find Ramp Effect and drag and drop onto our background, OK, and for the first start of the ramp go upper left corner, end of the ramp lower right corner and for the first color let's type here 140000 to get this type of red color, hit OK. And for the end color, let's go pure black color. Hit OK. And now let's also create another solid layer. Go right click, find your new solid layer again. OK, this is gonna be ball action. Also 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. And then find here ball action effect. Drag and drop onto the solid layer. And here for the grid spacing and ball size, let's type 10. And let's also add fill effect, ok, above the ball action effect and let's change color to pure white color. Hit ok and also let's hit T for opacity for the ball action solid layer and let's go to around 20%. And now we have this cool looking background here in our final scene. Ok, our next step is to create another composition, hit here or hit Ctrl plus N again. This is gonna be text composition for the width, let's type. 1000 for the height instead of this number type 300 and then hit ok now hit ctrl plus t or go click on this horizontal type tool i will type my own text creative ok just swap fill and stroke here and align it to the center ok if you can find align and paragraph option just go window and you will also find align and paragraph here ok for the next step let's import our text composition here in the final comp OK, and now let's draw a mask on top of this new composition, hit G on your keyboard or hit on this little pen icon, select this new composition and now let's draw a mask like this. You can of course draw your own mask, but I'm only showing you the way. OK, this is looking cool and when you're finished just hit here to close the mask path. If you're not satisfied with the mask, you can hit those points and readjust and this is looking cool to me. Ok, for the next step let's add here stroke effect, hit on this text new composition again, go here in the facts and preset, find stroke effect, drag and drop onto the new composition and here let's also make a few further adjustments for the brush size instead of 2 let's type 4 and for the paint style instead of this on original image find here on transparent. Now let's also animate this end property, go here at 0 frames, set up the first keyframe for end type here 0, then go to around 4 seconds and let's type here 100. Ok, now hit here again on this text composition, double M to show all of the mask property, go here again at 0 frames, set up the first keyframe for mask expansion, let's type minus 90, ok, then go to around 4 seconds and let's type here 1. Ok, now it's time to duplicate this text composition, hit Ctrl plus D, select this bottom one, delete the stroke effect, go here in effects and preset again and find fill effect. Drag and drop onto the second text composition, you can of course here change color if you want. For better recognition I will do random color, ok, and for the fill color I will change here to pure white color. Ok, now hit also Ctrl plus D. For this third text composition, let's change color, 
hit M for mask property for this third one. And for the mask expansion, let's type here instead of minus 90, just 90. And for the second keyframe, let's type here minus one. Also, let's change this add option to subtract. And here in the finals, now when we hit zero, we have the animation like this, and this is looking awesome. Now it's time to easy ease everything, select all the composition, hit U on your keyboard to show all of the keyframes. Now grab them and then hit F9 on your keyboard. Okay, to easy ease them, go to graph editor. And if you can't see curve like this, just go right click and you will find edit speed graph here. Okay, now select second keyframes and draw a curve like this. First keyframes and draw a curve like this. And now when we hit zero in the finals, we have a cool animation of our creative text. In every moment you can reposition keyframes, but this is pretty much all up to you. Okay, now it's time to pre-compose those text layers, select them again, and then go right click to pre-compose. I will just rename this one to text plus elements, and then hit OK. Also, one thing we have forgotten to do is to add rough and edges effect. Select everything here again, and then go in the fact and preset, find rough and edges effect, and just apply it on all our compositions. And now this is looking something like this. And you can also play around here with the options of this rough and edges effect, but I will leave it and this is looking awesome to me. Here in the finals, now we have seen like this. And for the next step, let's duplicate this text plus elements twice. Hit control plus D once and again, okay, let's change color for those two text plus elements, maybe to orange, change blending mode, maybe to overlay, hit S for scaling and maybe to go to around 300. And now when we hit zero in our finals, our scene is looking awesome and our creative text is looking really cool. Also what we can do is to go here again in text plus elements and for the first text composition hit T for opacity, then go to around maybe four seconds, set up the first keyframe for opacity all the way to the five seconds and then lower this down to around zero percent. And now when we hit zero in the finals, we have this cool text animation of our creative text. Awesome. For the final step, let's add a few adjustment layers. Go right click to create the first adjustment layer. This is gonna be lens flare. Okay, go into facts and preset, find lens flare effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And basically here, you can play around here with the options for the flare center, go somewhere around here maybe. And you can also blend this with original, maybe to around 40%, set up the first keyframe also here at zero frames, and then go to maybe six or seven seconds, or maybe five, according to you. And for the flare center, let's move it all the way to this side. And now when we hit zero, we have also cool flares here. Maybe this is a little bit strong, maybe to go around 70% or so. You can duplicate this lens flare effect, okay. And now this is looking awesome. And you can change also lens type, maybe to this second option or third. Just play around with everything until you're satisfied with your own final results. Also, let's add another adjustment layer. Go right click to find another adjustment layer. This is gonna be light sweep, okay. Go again here in the facts and preset, find light sweep effect, drag and drop onto this adjustment layer. And here for the edge intensity and edge thickness, let's type zero. For the width, let's go to maybe around 100, okay. You can also play around here with the sweep intensity, pretty much up to you. For the direction, you can go maybe to around 90%. And you can also play around with the Y parameter. Also hit T for opacity. And this is looking really, really awesome. Maybe for opacity, let's go to around 30%, hit zero again. And now we have this cool looking rough and creative text here in the final scene. You can add also more light effects like light rays. Also you can add curves, but I will leave it to you just to play around with all of the options. All right guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. As you can see, this was cool technique to create this awesome text. Like always, I hope you learned something new. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. 
and also hit the like button if you found this video helpful. All the links are in the description. You can also leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials like this one. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.